a manor all to ourselves. Can you believe it, Sherry? I have so many ideas. Home sweet home, Sherry. Mycroft's umbrella. The only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? What a monstrosity! Where could such a creature even survive? One of the most ridiculous fakes I ever saw. Its owner insisted it was a polar bear. He thought the white paint on the brown fur wasn't noticeable. It's a pity how many amazing things are missing from this room. Oh, I remember these. We used them to spar together until Mycroft found out and forbade us from using real weapons. Dossiers on the most influential people on Cordona. Mycroft always had a habit of building files on everyone he met. A full collection. It's somehow so satisfying. Look, it's Roger. This jolly old man's well preserved. Even looks refreshed. An excellent example of Mayan culture from Guatemala. The so-called mummy of a Persian princess. The defrauders did good work, but missed one small detail. It's the mummy of a man. And this one was brought from a German museum. They claimed it belonged to Vikings. Nonsense, of course. Vikings never had horns on their helmets.
The full plate armour of Sir Robert Swanford. I was told my father won it in a wager. When you're finished here, can we build a wigwam from the blankets? Like in the good old days. Home sweet home, Sherry. To be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Sharp and well balanced, it would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. My small archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. This time I was first to pick beds. This one's mine now. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted and we met it, didn't we? One of your early sketches of me. And a rather unflattering one at that. Just look at my nose. Coal dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. The most important thing is not to taste it. I'm looking forward to learning to play it as soon as I have some free time. <laughs> the only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. A magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose, staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You do miss her. <laughs> Cannot believe all my toys are still here. You're not obliged to be here, Sherry. We can leave any time you want. It reminds me of my mother. Looks like it was damaged by a blunt object. This room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. And here is the reason. Do you 
you think the doctor could have used these tools here? I hope not. Straps on the bed. It just doesn't look right. I heard footsteps upstairs a second ago. Wait, do we have an attic here? I should write a book about the behavior of bees someday. I should write a book about the behavior of bees someday. I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass are very precious. Hey, is anybody at home? Hello? Imagine Goliath was surprised to find out his lady was not real. My mother liked the story of David and Goliath. She said, it doesn't matter how small you are, you can always overcome any obstacle. <laughs> 